Something massive just hit the world of robotics, and it's not just another concept prototype. A full-size humanoid robot is now available to the general public for under $6,000. Yes, you heard that right. A functioning humanoid you can actually order online. This changes everything. Let's break down why Unitree's new R1 might be the biggest robotics disruption we've seen in years. Unitree, known for its G1 humanoid and those high-speed robotic dogs, has just launched the R1, a full-body humanoid robot that isn't locked behind research labs or five-figure price tags. It's here, it's real, and it's affordable. This isn't some futuristic concept you read about in a press release. You can literally go to their website and order one now. The R1 isn't your average demo bot. It doesn't need a lab wall to stay upright or a technician constantly monitoring it. It walks, it runs, it balances, it pulls off cartwheels and handstands. Heck, it'll throw in a kung fu kick if you're feeling bold. And this isn't driven by rigid code or preset routines. It operates using real-time voice recognition, built-in cameras for visual input, and basic conversational AI. Oh, and just in case it starts acting a little too confident, there's a remote control to shut it down instantly. At 165 centimeters tall, around 5 foot 5, and weighing about 55 pounds, it's basically teenager sized, but don't let the size fool you. This thing's built with industrial grade components, from the actuators down to its reinforced outer frame. It's compact, but serious. Mobility wise, it's on another level. The R1 has 26 degrees of freedom, meaning it has 26 individual joints that allow for lifelike motion in the ankles, knees, hips, waist, shoulders, elbows, wrists, and neck. This gives it smooth, almost eerie, human-like movement. Forget the clunky stumbling of early stage bots, this thing recovers from falls and changes direction on the fly. All of this is made possible by Unitree's custom-built direct drive actuators, delivering precision torque control without burning out or wasting energy. Powering it is a lithium battery good for about an hour per charge. That's not gonna get you through a full workday, but it's fair given the price point. Charging is fast though, and if you keep a spare battery ready, you're good to go. What it doesn't have is a hot swappable battery system like Ubitex Walker S2. You'll need to recharge or manually replace the battery, which is a trade-off Unitree clearly made to keep the price low. Convenience features were sacrificed in favor of core performance. And honestly, for early adopters and developers, that's the smarter move. Now here's where it really stands out. The R1 comes with a fully open software development kit. Developers can dive deep into motion controls, sensor inputs, camera feeds, and voice modules. Whether you're using Python, C++, or tapping into ROS, you're not locked out. This thing is a platform. You can build gesture recognition systems, turn it into a mobile lab assistant, a tutor, a greeter, whatever you want. This isn't a robot that just dances for five minutes. It's a customizable, agile, and responsive machine with real-world potential. You're not buying a toy, you're buying a tool. One that's accessible, adaptable, and built for expansion. Let's come back to the price. Their previous humanoid, the G1, cost $16,000. The H1, over 90 k Yet the R1, running similar tech and pulling off backflips, is launching for under $6,000. Compare that to Tesla's Optimus, which hasn't even released yet, where Elon's aiming for 20 k to 30 k once production scales. Atlas from Boston Dynamics, around 100 k Agility Robotics Digit, up to 250 k even open source projects like Hope Jr. aren't this polished or accessible. With this launch, Unitree just turned the pricing model on its head. They didn't just make a cheaper robot, they made a better one at a lower cost. And now, every robotics company in the US and Europe is under pressure to match that. The R1 isn't just fast and balanced, it's scary good for the price. Unitree isn't targeting just labs and car factories. This thing is meant for devs, educators, researchers, and yes, regular people. You don't need a government grant or a corporate budget to get one. Just a good reason and six grand. People are already thinking, can it greet guests in a hotel, teach kids in a classroom, assist researchers in labs, maybe more, home assistants, elder care, entertainment bots. The use cases are coming fast. It's not folding laundry or babysitting just yet, but imagine it helping someone grab meds from a shelf, responding to voice commands, or simply offering company. And when guests come over, yeah, it might just show off a backflip for fun. But the bigger story isn't the price or the feature list. It's the cultural shift this represents. For decades, humanoid robots were confined to sci-fi, high-end labs, or trade show stunts. Now, one could literally be standing next to your Wi-Fi router at home. We're not just reading about them, we're starting to live with them. And that changes everything.
No, it's not perfect. You'll recharge it often. It's not cooking meals. But the point is, it's real. It's shipping. It's working. And it's already redefining what's possible. This isn't just a product drop. It's a turning point. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.